Hey, what's up guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here and today we're looking at uh, the second version of AirDroid. So AirDroid version 2. Um, I'm not really sure if this is actually the version 2 because down here I keep getting like a little pop-up message saying I'm using the light mode but uh, I got an email from um, AirDroid that said that this is the version 2 of the application so I'm a little confused myself right now but uh, it looks like this is a uh, version 2 I've found a couple new features uh, that I do not remember in <coughs> AirDroid uh, version 1 so let's go ahead and look at some of these differences so one of the uh, newest features here I've noticed is a toolbox over here uh, you could uh, drag and drop files here from your computer then and they'll be straight uploaded to um, this folder over here you could also go ahead and change that if you'd like uh, you could select the folder uh, and you could select files uh, same thing with URLs you could go ahead and copy and paste the URL from your um, computer browser and you could put it into uh, this text box over here and you will open the web site on your uh, tablet or phone clipboard as well you could uh, copy and paste you could copy text uh, from your computer onto your tablet as well as from your tablet onto your computer S and there's a new feature here as well with applications um, with this feature you could go ahead and install applications uh, I mean download applications on your computer and uh, drag and drop the AP .apk file right over here you could just uh, browse for them here. Uh, so this is a pretty cool feature that they've uh, implemented in this uh, newer version over here. Uh, they had a similar one before, but it didn't have as many features. And this one looks um, pretty nice. Um, another thing here we have is uh, we had this in the first version as well. We have the uh, device name as well as what operating system version it's running um, over here you have some uh, internal storage information uh, and you could also go ahead into details and it'll give you further details on your uh, storage so basically right over here you could see uh, how many contacts I have how many messages um, how many applications I have installed music videos photos so just kind of like a, as it says a summary of what you have on your phone um, let's go ahead and put this back into where we found it and as you could see here we also have uh, this bottom taskbar over here it gives us uh, a little bit of information on the battery life as you can see it's also giving us information that it's plugged into the power and it's currently charging uh, it's giving us that information that it's not connected to any uh, data towers there's no data being used it's connected to Wi-Fi and gives us a signal strength as well and over here I wasn't really sure at first what this uh, task rest of the task where was going to be used for but I quickly learned that you are able to minimize uh, multiple windows and they're stored down here as well you could also full screen your windows and you could minimize them to your liking as well see so if you could uh, you could even put them into a custom uh, size if you'd like as you could see but there is uh, actually a minimum minimum lock size that you could do that for as you could see here you have like this uh, search engine called Quixie um, you could just uh, type in like AirDroid search and it will give you information on that as you can see you could go to application and open a new window in your web browser but, or you could just scan the QR code over here it's pretty cool uh, that's accessed by searching over here as you could see um, you could also sign out here uh, you could choose a language up here as you can see they have uh, over a dozen languages for sure looks like around 20 languages 
Uh, here you can make phone calls. I think this is a new feature that wasn't implemented in the previous versions of AirDroid. Um, not really going to test this feature out right now due to the fact that uh, I am testing it out on a tablet. S same thing with the messages. You have a quick way to access a new message here. Go ahead and input your uh, contact name or phone number here. You could just browse through them by clicking this button and you just implement your uh, message over here and just send it. Um, also call logs. I'll show you who you've called, contacts, screenshots, and obviously the basic kind of stuff. You also have apps. Um, another cool thing is that they actually categorized apps into user and system applications. So it kind of separates uh, your apps from the apps that were actually already installed on your uh, on your device. But some of them, like uh, Super User SU, has been downloaded by me, but it is used by the system due to the fact that my tablet is rooted. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much it for today. There's also like a file browser here which you could use to um, manage uh, the content on your device, delete and put files on. So uh, that's a feature that they already previously had. Uh, same thing with uh, most of these uh, icons here and not much has changed in that aspect. Uh, for the screenshot option, uh, you have to have your um, tablet or um, phone rooted to use this uh, option. Um, it's not really too hard rooting your devices with all the tutorials out there. Um, but yeah, so that's just one of the uh, features that not all people can use. If you're not rooted, you can't really use that feature. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. Um, this was the first kind of, we'll call it the first look of uh, AirDroid version 2. Uh, we'll go into further detail within maybe further use. I don't really want to uh, make an application review uh, when the application is still in beta. So we'll just call this the first first look of AirDroid version 2. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and check out my previous videos. So see you in the next video. Bye.